It is sometimes necessary for our pipeline to cross a major obstacle along its route, such as a major road, railway or river. An auger bore is one of the specialist trenchless technologies available to us. Our working strip is positioned to ensure the safety of our workforce, the public and the environment. Two ditches are excavated either side of the obstruction within our working strip. These are often referred to as the launch and reception pits. An access ramp into the pit is installed with the base and back typically hardened using concrete. Rails are installed on one side of the pit to carry the boring machine. A metal pipe is then attached to the front of the machine. As the rig pushes forward, the pipe is pushed into the ground. Inside the pipe, the auger moves the debris backwards into the pit. The cutting head at the front digs through soil and rock. When the first pipe is pushed all the way in, the rig is moved backwards on the rails and a new pipe is dropped in front of it. This new piece of pipe is fastened into the previous piece and pushed forward into the ground. Every time a new length of pipe is added, the front is pushed further underneath the obstacle with the auger moving all the debris. This is collected in the pit so that it can be lifted clear during boring. The cutting head is removed once it reaches the opposite pit. The rig is then used to pull the auger back out from inside the pipe. These are lifted out in sections. Once the auger has been removed, the only thing left is the pipe. The rig and rails can then be removed with the pipe acting as a duct or sleeve for the water main. We usually install two or more auger bores side by side, so if one of the new crossings starts to leak, we can still use the second. The crossing is then ready to be connected into the pipeline as it progresses across the fields. <laughs>